what it's got, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Here we go.
congratulations, you made it. It's over. <laughs> uh, just want to say thanks for watching. I know it's a little, it's a little piece together and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm new at this, so um, hang in there. It'll get better. Uh, the learning curve is definitely steeper than I thought. Uh, you know, just getting used to actually talking to a camera, uh, getting used to when you go to an event or doing something to actually record it. I'm used to just going and having fun or going and doing so. It's a pretty steep learning curve. You know, the guys on YouTube make it look way easier than it actually is. Um, thankfully, I have some really cool friends that are helping me out and looking out for me and helping lessen that learning curve. So, I just want to say a big thanks to everybody. Uh, the people who are helping me out behind the scenes, um, the guys that are subscribing, liking the videos, um, it is greatly appreciated. Like I said, this is uh, something I've always wanted to try. Um, just I uh, never wanted to take that leap I guess so I'm thankful for the people that are actually help that are helping me out so thanks to everyone um, the next event I'll be going to will be uh, grid life in Atlanta that will be next weekend I might try to put another video in here um, before then because we kind of missed a week and just also tell you I'm gonna try to post a video every every weekend uh, maybe Friday Saturday or Sunday but it will be uh, every weekend from here on out if everything works out but I'll quit rambling uh, yeah the next event will be grid life in Atlanta I'm going to trailer the uh, v8 car down there so if you're in the area you know if you're going to that event uh, stop by check it out uh, should it'll be down there and I think maybe the first video for that car will be um, the wiring I got some body stuff on it or paint and body that you know work that needs to be done so maybe that or hopefully if my friend gets a spot in his shop to where he can fit us in uh, be welding the roll cage in there so be notching and welding so you get to see some of that stuff but it will probably be wiring or I've also decided to um, to build my own set of headers for it because everyone that makes headers for that swap it's like a thousand bucks and I'm just not wanting to invest that kind of money into the exhaust system because if maybe down the road I might go turbo with it I'm not sure I kind of would like to keep the car simple um, I don't want to complicate it with uh, plumbing and all that stuff so uh, not that of an experienced driver to where I need you know 600 700 800 you know horsepower so anything over 400 I'll be happy so probably but rambling again i don't want to waste the money on a set of headers they're a thousand dollars if i may in the future go turbo so probably not going to that route so look forward to me building my own headers because that's probably the route i'm gonna go because uh, i don't want to buy a bunch of headers that may or may not fit and have to send them back and all this craziness so i'll probably just buy a header kit and send it and see what they look like and wrap them and just let them let them be what it's going to be i guess so that should be a fun video and as far as the rotary car goes, I guess the first video for it will be me pulling the engine out and getting that uh, car ready for the uh, for the new engine. Which those guys just got at Angel Motorsports. They just got off like a pretty, or he got back from a pretty big vacation. So they should be uh, getting that thing put together pretty soon. They sounded pretty confident that he'd be a you know pretty decent turnaround. Even though I know he's crazy busy, so. Um, yeah, so I just need to get the engine out of that thing, and uh, so that probably like the first video we did, or maybe us actually going to go to Angel Motorsports to pick it up, which will be really cool if you're a rotary guy, because that is just like RX-7 heaven down there. I've never seen so many RX-7s in one spot in my whole entire life, and I've been to a lot of places, so that was really cool to see. So I would like to record that for y'all on the, you know, picking the engine up. So especially FDs, I've never seen that many FD RX-7s in one place. It was crazy. So that should be a good video. So just want to say thanks again um, for watching and supporting and all the help. Uh, you know, subscribe, like, hang out. Uh, should be pretty interesting. Um, I got some pretty good ideas of some stuff I got going on. Uh, maybe some project cars in the background that I don't want to show you guys yet. I want to get these two finished first or even just get them drivable that's the main goal 
and then we might pull out the other project. So, like I said, I'm always doing crazy stuff. So, subscribe, hang out. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Appreciate all the support. We'll see you in the next video.